You may have heard of black holes, the mysterious objects in space that have such strong gravity that nothing can escape from them, not even light. Most of the black holes we know of are either the remnants of massive stars that collapsed at the end of their lives, or the supermassive ones that lurk at the centers of galaxies. But what if there are other kinds of black holes that we haven't detected yet? What if some of them are hiding inside stars, slowly eating them from the inside? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating and interesting topics about everything. Today we are going to talk about a very intriguing question. Are tiny black holes hiding within giant stars? And if so, how can we find them? This may sound like a science fiction scenario, but it is actually a serious possibility that some scientists are investigating. A new study by Earl Bellinger of the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics and his colleagues suggests that some stars may contain primordial black holes, which are tiny black holes that formed in the early moments of the universe before any stars or galaxies existed. These black holes could have a range of masses, from much smaller than an atom to as large as a planet. Some of them could have been captured by stars and settled in their cores, where they would gradually grow by consuming the star's material. But how can we tell if a star has a black hole inside it? Well, one way is to look at the star's temperature and brightness. A normal star produces energy by fusing hydrogen atoms into helium in its core. This process keeps the star hot and bright. But if a star has a black hole in its core, the fusion process would be disrupted and the star would become cooler and dimmer than expected. This is because the black hole would not only swallow some of the hydrogen, but also some of the energy that the fusion produces. The star would also become more turbulent as the black hole's gravity would stir up the core like a pot of boiling water. These effects would be more noticeable for larger black holes, which would grow faster and produce more radiation. The radiation would come from the disk of material that spirals around the black hole before falling into it. This disk would heat up due to friction and emit X-rays and other types of radiation. The radiation would also push some of the star's material outward, creating a wind that would reduce the star's mass. Eventually, the black hole would become so large and powerful that it would dominate the star's energy output, and the star would become a black hole-powered object rather than a fusion-powered one. The researchers have dubbed these entities Hawking Stars, after the famous physicist Stephen Hawking, who predicted that black holes can emit radiation. So are there any stars that show these signs of having a black hole inside them? Well, there might be. The European Space Agency's Gaia satellite has spotted about 500 stars that are anomalously cool and dim for their size. These stars are called red stragglers, and they are found in clusters of thousands of stars that are roughly 160,000 light years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a neighbor galaxy of the Milky Way. Some of these red stragglers could be hawking stars, but we need more evidence to confirm that. One way to get more evidence is to look at the star's vibrations. Stars are not static objects, but they pulsate and oscillate due to various physical processes. These vibrations create waves that travel through the star and affect its surface, changing its brightness and shape. By measuring these changes, we can learn a lot about the star's internal structure and composition. This is called asteroseismology, and it is similar to how geologists use earthquakes to study the Earth's interior. If a star has a black hole in its core, its vibrations would be different from a normal star. A normal star vibrates mostly in its outer layers, where the gas is less dense and more easily disturbed. But a Hawking star would vibrate throughout its interior because the black hole would make the core more turbulent and unstable. This would create a different combination of frequencies and amplitudes that we could detect with sensitive instruments. 
Bellinger and his team are applying for funding to study the Red Stragglers and see whether any of them display the characteristic vibrations of a black hole. But why does it matter if some stars have black holes inside them? Well, apart from being a fascinating phenomenon, it could also have important implications for our understanding of the universe. For one thing, it could help us solve the mystery of dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up most of the matter in the universe and holds galaxies together. We don't know what dark matter is, but one possibility is that it is made of primordial black holes. If we can find and count the primordial black holes inside stars, we can estimate how many of them are out there and how much mass they have. This could tell us if they are enough to account for the dark matter or if we need to look for something else. Another implication is that it could help us learn more about the origin and evolution of black holes. We don't know exactly how primordial black holes formed, but they could have been created by fluctuations in the density of matter and energy in the early universe or by the collapse of cosmic strings, which are hypothetical defects in the fabric of space-time. By studying the properties and distribution of primordial black holes, we could test these theories and see which ones are more likely. We could also see how primordial black holes interact with stars and other objects and how they affect their environment. Finally, finding black holes inside stars could also help us appreciate the beauty and diversity of nature. Stars are among the most amazing and complex objects in the universe, and they come in many shapes, sizes, colors, and types. Some of them are born with planets, some of them explode as supernovae, some of them merge with other stars, and some of them, as we have seen, may harbor black holes. Each star has its own story, and by studying them, we can learn more about ourselves and our place in the cosmos. To give you some more examples of how black holes can hide inside stars, let me tell you about some of the candidates that the researchers have identified. One of them is called HV 2012, and it is a very unusual star that has puzzled astronomers for years. It is located in a cluster of stars called Reticulum II, which is about 98,000 light years away from Earth. HV 2112 is much cooler and dimmer than it should be for its size, and it also has some strange chemical signatures that indicate the presence of heavy elements such as thorium and uranium. These elements are usually produced by supernova explosions, but HV 2112 is too young to have experienced one. One possible explanation is that HV 2112 has a black hole in its core and that the heavy elements are the result of the black hole's radiation interacting with the star's material. Another candidate is called HD 140283 and it is one of the oldest stars in the galaxy. It is about 200 light years away from Earth and it is estimated to be about 14.5 billion years old, which is almost as old as the universe itself. HD 14283 is also very metal poor, meaning that it has very little iron and other elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. This suggests that it was formed from the primordial gas that existed before the first generation of stars. However, HD 14283 is also much cooler and dimmer than it should be for its age and metallicity, and it also shows signs of variability in its brightness. These anomalies could be explained by the presence of a primordial black hole in its core, which would slow down its evolution and make it appear younger than it really is. A third candidate is called VFTS 102, and it is a very fast-spinning star that is located in the Tarantula Nebula, a giant star-forming region in the Large Magellanic Cloud. VFTS 102 rotates at a speed of about 600 kilometers per second, which is close to the limit that a star can spin without breaking apart. VFTS 102 is also very hot and bright, and it has a massive companion star that orbits it every 16 days. The researchers speculate that VFTS 102 may have a black hole in its core, and that the black hole's gravity is responsible for its high rotation speed. The black hole may have also transferred some of its angular momentum to the companion star, making it spin faster as well. 
The researchers also suggest that VFTS-102 may be a progenitor of a gamma-ray burst, a powerful explosion that occurs when a massive star collapses into a black hole. These are just some of the examples of stars that may have black holes inside them, but there could be many more. The researchers hope that by studying these stars and looking for more candidates, they will be able to confirm or rule out the existence of primordial black holes and learn more about their properties and effects. They also hope that their work will inspire more curiosity and interest in the wonders of the universe and the mysteries that still await us. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.